Congressman, what do you make of this? You just heard Congressman Comer say he is credible. Uh, Gal Luft is on the run, but he's adding a lot of detail to his story. Do you believe him? I do. I've seen so much of this this crime family, the multi millions of dollars that have flowed in from Chinese corporations and others that have, they they're not the only thing they're buying is influence. You know, they they kept saying Trump was doing this, Trump was doing that. Well, they're selling junk made in sweatshops and crappy ties and things like that. This is all this is is influence. And if what this man is saying is true, which I have no reason to doubt him, then you've got you've got some real espionage problems there. And you've got some problems within the FBI. They're leaking things from Chinese um, about uh, investigations into Chinese energy companies. And to me, that is that is very troubling, being that the Chinese are really almost enemy number one with in my book. And, um, and if they have that much influence in the White House, that, that explains a whole lot. It explains the balloons being able to fly over out, being shot down, the, the purchases of land, their infiltration in mm -hmm. our, our energy sector and everything else. So it, it goes straight to the top. And, um, and, and the Democrats in this country need to wake up and quit with all this nonsense. Just call it out for what it That's is. This is they've got a bad they've got a bad seed here and they need to they need to cut it out. Let's also address this uh, IRS whistleblower alleged retaliation, a letter sent to special counsel Henry Kerner this week. Uh, tell us where that goes now. Obviously, they have uh, protections to come to Congress and this could have a chilling effect depending on which way this goes. Absolutely. Um, we, we have whistleblower protection in this country. We, we encourage people to to root out evil and corruption and for the IRS or the Department of Justice or whoever to um, to put pressure on someone to go the other way, to me, is, again, it is corruption at the highest levels, and, and we, we shouldn't stand for it. And eventually, in the House of Representatives, we are the government's checkbook. Um, the bank, of course, is the taxpayers, and the taxpayers ought to demand from us, and we should do better, and we should defund these organizations, cut them out. They're trash cans, ma'am. Everybody wants to pick and choose it's, it's a big trash can. Turn it upside down, put a garden hose on it, just tear it to the ground and start over. That's the only way this is going to be solved, to root out all this corruption. Oh, Congressman, you probably know uh, yesterday was the deadline for U.S. Attorney David Weiss to respond to Congress's demand for documents related to Hunter Biden's tax investigation, and he did not respond. Uh, so what happens next in a case like that? Well, of course, we subpoena him is what we do. We bring him in. And if he doesn't, we um, we use their full force and have and have the Capitol Police literally go out and bring him in. If that's the, if that's what has to happen, I would hope that they would it would come to some reasoning. But but these backroom deals, they keep cutting, having us come in and secure areas and, and see briefings that are that are not secure. But by putting them in that setting, they they, they cloud whether we can see them or not. And quit saying there's investigations going on when there's not Hunter Biden is obviously infiltrated his his through his father has infiltrated many of our alphabet agencies and it and at some point we got to say enough is enough the american people need to demand better and um and our so-called legacy media which is a joke in my opinion you all are the only ones out there continuously telling the truth um have got to start asking some tough questions well, not to get uh, distracted, but of course, the big story this week has been whose cocaine is it that was discovered inside the West Wing? And now we know pretty much a very secure, not very heavily trafficked uh, area that was first reported. Um, Andrew Bates, the deputy press secretary, was asked yesterday, uh, but the reporter also mentioned Trump's comments on social media. Um, so here's how he answered that reporter's question. A little bit of skirting this by using the Hatch Act. Take a listen. I don't have uh, a response to that because we have to be careful about the Hatch Act. Uh, what I will say is that I have noticed there does seem to be some increasing frustration coming from that corner in general. Uh, and I think it is probably rooted in the contrast between their substantive policy records. No, Congressman, no, 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 no. Uh, how much, yeah, I was going to say, how much do we need to know whose cocaine this was and that skirting there? I think we need to, we need to know it a lot more now after hearing that report, ma'am. That is a complete adulteration of the Hatch Act. It's supposed to protect employees from government harassment. And this is a, a public records request. It's, in fact, it's a FOIA. It should be public record of who enters and who exits the White House. 
I've been in those entrance and exits, ma'am. You don't just come in off the street. They know exactly who's been in and who's out. There's there's facial recognition. They have they have they have technology where it's a reverse reverse flow fans that pull air off of you to see if you've been around explosives. And for them to wow. play this yeah. down, to, for them to play this down is so ridiculous. Yeah. And, and it, what if it's what if it is a, a biological entity that somebody's brought in? You know, they go through all these scenarios, exactly. and to, and to think they don't know who's come in there with a bag of cocaine is ridiculous. They know, then, and they better get to Congress pretty quick. We'll be back there at first of the week. I suspect they should be waiting on us at the door with this information because these cover-ups have got to stop. And you know, I'm on the I'm on the committee that'll be investigating it, and then we'll be working overtime on these issues. We know you will be. Uh, you're here with us on a Friday night. We got to wrap. We got a little bit of more news to get to. But as always, Congressman Tim Burchett, I appreciate your time. You can call me Bianca, not ma'am. Makes me feel old, but you're very, very polite as always. And uh, great analysis yes, tonight. Thank you, Bianca. You're the only Bianca <laughs> I know. So I'm going to say that name a lot.